Hi everyone, Artemis here and welcome to my 6th channel anniversary video. Each year, on February 23rd or 24th, I make such a video to discuss about another year of me being a content creator and doing content for you. But now, ironically, not just about my channel, but uh, about the event that happened uh, the next day after it. Of course, I'm talking about the terror in Ukraine that has started two years ago already and still goes. And you know, let's start with this topic. When all this madness started, I was quite terrified of what could happen with me. I was afraid of losing my family, losing my home or even losing my life. Nowadays, because of just how long this conflict lasts, I just stopped caring. All these air alarms that would happen in my city, it all just became mundanity. And it's quite scary, not gonna lie. Each day I just lose any sort of hope that this war will be over. It still goes, and I still don't understand why it still goes. At least, let me still talk about it, at least each year, so people would not forget about it. And I hope that future channel anniversary videos uh, won't be starting from <laughs> talking about the wars. Anyways, let's talk about uh, the actual topic of this video. <laughs> My sixth year being a YouTuber. <laughs> and uh, it's probably the worst year I had. It was quite a mess. Uh, first of all, this was the first year where I felt kind of burned out from making content. I had a lot of ideas, but I wasn't fully motivated to realize them. And with that, I would do less and less videos. And I feel like there are a couple of reasons on why I felt so demotivated. First reason being my university. Because of it, I didn't have much time and energy to take care of my channel, make videos for it and more. The second semester of first year has been pretty tough for me and I was on the edge of being expelled. <laughs> the first semester of second year was also pretty rough and uh, even a bit more than the previous semester, but thankfully I managed to pass on all my exams. Currently I'm on the second semester of my second year and I will be focusing more on my university tasks. Even still, due to war situation in my country, a lot of students, including me, are studying online and for me it's a bit tough to learn information online. Besides that, I barely interact with my group mates because of that. Some people are in different cities or even countries, so with half of my group mates uh, I'm not able to meet face to face and it would emotionally bring me down. I would be stressing out a lot because of the way we are studying. And I hope that at least at the final year of university, we will meet one another. The second reason is related to the Incredibox community in general. Since the time when RB series was outed as a groomer, the community has become too dramatic, too tense. Now a lot of people just try to find some dirt on other content creators, start unnecessary conflicts for stupid reasons, and overall, not being as welcoming as it was a couple of years ago. And it's quite disheartening to see the community that I cared about in such a state. And it's not just about some people in the community who act like that, but some content creators too. This year, I realized that I can build bridges with everyone. And it breaks my heart a bit. Since the time when I started my channel, I knew that there would be more content creators coming after me. Maybe even the ones that would surpass me, which is fine. And I say to myself that besides focusing on my own stuff in community, I would support and be friendly to these new content creators. With some, I managed to build some good relationship, like Potiman, for example. Shout out to him. <laughs> but with some, it was quite rough and it bothers me. Mainly because I would feel like I distance myself uh, more and more from this community 
and it would negatively affect my mental health. Every time I would interact in the Incredibox community, I would start to feel anxious. Uh, I would start to feel like not myself. Like for some people, I would feel like a stranger, even despite what we went through. And it's the second and probably the main reason on why I would feel not so motivated on working on my content. But um, I should not give up. I already went through a lot of stuff, even before, and just dropping it in the middle of the road would be stupid. I have decided to revisit some Incredibox related stuff that I had, and I came across this letter from Incredibox team that sent me it in a gift box three years ago. And when I read it again, after a couple of years, it still gives me motivation to continue. As it said in the letter, Keep making videos, keep making what you love, keep having fun. And I'm still thankful to this day to Alan, Romain and Paul for sending me this package and supporting me to this day. Even if the community is not motivating me now, the Incredibox team is. I still want to talk about their game, support them and keep making content to spread the word about this game because they deserve it. Yeah, this video is quite depressing. On the bright note, let's hope that this year will be much better in the Incredibox community. Less drama and more friendship and good mods. I'm thankful to everyone who supports me to this day. I'm thankful to all of my friends who I met through this community and I wish them luck too in doing what they do. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.